Emma Garcia and I'm graduating from Arlington High School and next year I'll be going to the University of Texas in Austin to major in studio art. Hi, I'm Cassie Leisler and I'm graduating from Mansfield Summit High School and next year I'll be attending the University of North Texas majoring in social work. My name is JD Jantz. I'll be graduating from Summit High School and I will be taking a year of TCC and then transferring to UNT for music business. Hi, my name is Andrea Lee and I will be graduating from Summit High School Next year, I will be attending the University of Arkansas to major in international business. Hello, my name is Luke Lawrence. I will be graduating from Martin High School, and then I will be going to the University of Evansville in Evansville, Indiana, where I will be majoring in performing arts. I'm Ryan Ward. I'm graduating from Arlington Martin, and I am going to University of Texas at Austin in the fall uh, to study biochemistry and Spanish. Hi, uh, my name is Bryce Hoffman. Um, I go to Summit High School, and I'll be graduating this year going to Texas A&M University, majoring in communications. I'm Amy Walkenhorst, and I'm going to be graduating from Summit High School and attending Texas A&M University to study business. My favorite youth memory has been core nights. I've always looked forward to those nights and they've been the highlight of my week. I'd just go through the motions on Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday I was excited because I knew I got to go to CORE and see my friends. My favorite memory is from my sophomore year of high school and it was in the spring and we were going on mystery trip to the lake house. And there were two lake houses, one for the boys, one for the girls. And one of the nights, um, everyone came over to the girls' house and we were all sitting in the kitchen making spaghetti. And it was also fun to learn about Jesus in a different way. And Bear stands up and he goes, okay, who wants to try something with me? And I was like, oh, okay, I'll try it. So he stands up and holds his hands like this. And he goes, okay, so I want you to practice clapping in between my hands a couple times and then close your eyes and see how long you can keep doing it. So I was like, oh, okay, like I got this. So I'm standing there going like this and it took me a good like, three minutes to realize that he had gone and sat down and I was just standing there clapping my hands. Uh, that's not a, really a question that I can answer with, with one specific occurrence, but if, uh, if I had to kind of give a ballpark, um, last year's mission trip was really something else. It was a fantastic uh, opportunity to enrich my um, position with all the youth and, and to enrich the friendships and the, the bonds that I made with, with all the guys and really it, it's what turned the relationship that you know we were friends and it turned that into brothers and really kind of made us close-knit guys. Um, my favorite youth group memory is probably every mission trip I've ever been on. Um, I love getting to know the clients especially after we like changed our mission stance with Toxic Charity. I love the raw mission trip worship and getting to sing. Um, that's always super fun and I love just hanging out with my friends and getting closer to the Lord. Um, and this year I'm looking forward to making it the best mission trip yet and making the best memories yet uh, my senior year. Uh, one of my favorite memories uh, over the past few years in the youth group uh, has probably been getting together the youth praise band uh, a few years ago when we went on a mission trip to Vernon, Texas. Manzo and all the youth leaders and all of the current youth members, all the kids at that point, uh, went around after we had been confirmed and stole or kidnapped all of the sixth graders. Uh, it, it's just been a lot of fun getting to play with, uh, with all my friends and uh, getting to experience praise in a way and lead worship in a unique way, one that I haven't, uh, you know, hadn't gotten to do before. And it's just been a lot of fun to, to get to do that. My favorite youth memory would have to be a few years ago when we were on mission trip and uh, a few, a few, me and a few of other guys decided we would all go down the water slide at the water park right after the other and eventually it just grew and grew and eventually almost everybody went down the water slide at the same time. They came to our houses and those rowdy youth boys that were older than me came into my house, snuck up on me and uh, carried me to the back of the Suburban. I had no idea where I was and they covered my eyes and threw me in the back and drove me to church 
But we had ice cream and played games until midnight, which to a sixth grader is like really late. And we actually ended up breaking the slide a little bit. So it was very, very hilarious. And I got to know all these people that I would eventually come to know even better than I did that night. And it started off SJA Youth for me on the highest of notes, and I it, will probably never forget it. It was something else. My favorite youth memory would be mini mission trip because it's a great break from all the craziness at school, at work, at home, everywhere, to just go and serve God, and it's a great opportunity to like serve our own community. And when I finally realized, I was like, what? And I looked over and just all these people, like everyone was crowded in that kitchen just laughing. And I, that's my favorite memory because it was the spring after Manzo passed away. And just seeing all those people in the same place just made me realize that this was my group, this was my family, and I just loved that moment so much. I'd like to thank mom and dad and Reagan and Matt. Thank you all for being a, for being a strong support foundation that I can always rely on. Um, and my youth family, like Kyle, Ryan, Andrea, um, Amy, Jovi, TQ, and Whitney. Thank you all for being unconditional friends. I would like to thank my family for always being there to support me and love me through everything that I do. And then the church family for supporting the entire youth group as, and as we do all the things that we do all the time. And I would like to thank my sister specifically, Whitney and Kristen, for being number one MVPs. And then the youth group for always being amazing and always there to pick me up whenever I'm down and just Anytime I ever need them, they're always there. I'd like to thank my mom and dad for all the support you've given me over the years and the guidance and mom for being my best friend. Kathy Dunn uh, for really being like what I look forward to after service. Um, Dr. Mike Polson, thank you. My parents, of course, for just always supporting me and encouraging me to go to art school. You know, that's crazy. No one, no one does that. I want to thank my parents, of course, for having me and raising me. Thank you, of course, to everyone in the group with me. I will be friends with you guys for the rest of my life. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, my parents. You know, they're my parents. I would like to thank my parents, uh, all of the friends that have made while at SJA, uh, all of the staff and faculty that have worked at SJA, um, the church that I've been going to pretty much ever since I was born. The Jarrows, my second family, and the Stoglins for always being around for me. And Miss Etta for being the best teacher ever, and Pastor Steve for teaching me so much. I want to thank Manzo, Kelly, Amanda, and Gavin for making me the person that I am today. Kelly, Amanda, Gavin, and Manzo. Especially Amanda and Kelly and Manzo and John Moran for always being amazing and so supportive. Kelly and Amanda and Gavin and Manzo for being our youth leaders. Thank you to Amanda and Kelly for always listening. I'd like to thank Manzo. I'd like to thank Kelly and Amanda. Uh, Gavin and Kelly and Amanda, thank you all for spending all of your time putting all of our stuff together and putting up with us whenever you invite us to your houses and we stay up all night and make you really tired and leave crumbs on the floor. Kelly and Amanda for doing such an amazing job with taking over the role of youth directors at not such a great time in the youth uh, group's life and always having fun stuff planned and for making the youth group my second family away from home. And of course, thank you to Manzo for making everyone feel at home. And I'd like to thank Chris Manzo for making it all happen and getting me involved in the first place because I don't know where I'd be without my favorite community of people. They've all been wonderful leaders and they've done a great job in uh, helping spread the word of the Lord uh, to a great group of kids. Last but not least, I'd like to thank the congregation for loving us and accepting us and encouraging us to grow in Christ. Uh -huh.